So for today, we're going to be looking at the Point Contact Cannon Brace. This is the new exotic that was introduced in Season of the Plunder for Titans. And let me just get this out of the way. Titans, let me apologize because you guys got a terrible exotic. It, which is even more funny is it wasn't even terrible to begin with. It was just outright broken or bugged. Either way, it was actually pretty foul when it first came out. And then it got, you know, it got put, it got disabled, I think, twice. And then now it's just terrible to be fair though each season there's always an exotic that's just terrible uh from from the top of my head the one that i can remember the most is like blight ranger, blight ranger absolutely terrible uh so it's also fitting that titan's got a really terrible arc exotic which is kind of funny now it's just warlocks and then and it'll make me laugh even more so if you guys like the content let me know uh follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below i say all this because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub call me a douchebag if you do it and we should be golden so other than that let's just get into it so if this is your first video i will be reviewing the exotic itself telling you what it actually does uh showing you like the build that i will probably use with it and then after that we'll get into the fashion portion if you just want to see the fashion portion i usually do have timestamps so that way you guys can navigate which part of the video you want to see but if you guys want to see the whole video and support me that'd be really good but yeah let's get into it so hammer of the gods is the perk of the exotic defeating targets with your thunderclap melee restores melee energy Targets near you when you use your thunderclap suffer lightning strikes. Being amplified increases the range of these lightning strikes. So on paper, that sounds pretty cool. Defeating enemies with your thunderclap gets you more melee energy, which is super dope. Uh, enemies around you get hit with lightning strikes. Also really dope. Gives me Thunderlord vibes, but arms. That's really cool. The problem is that the lightning strikes don't even kill red bars, uh, which is pretty unfortunate because a lot of the time red bars will be just trying to kill you at melee range most of the time so the fact that it doesn't kill red bars is just kind of sad uh the melee portions also kind of hit or miss i mean if you get half health that's pretty cool but we have builds to like mitigate uh the melee essentially you guys can use a gun to give you uh, more melee energy specifically the new perk for this season pugilist final blows with this weapon generate improved melee energy dealing melee damage briefly improves this weapon's handling so if you end up using a weapon that has pugilist that's really good obviously if you use monte carlo that's even better because that's literally a melee build weapon so there are ways to mitigate the melee energy obviously if you have 100 strength that's also really good so getting melee energy is cool in theory but because there's so many ways to get your melee energy back, I'm not even mentioning like certain mods like melee kickstart and stuff like that. So that really shouldn't be a negative to the exotic itself. But at the same time, it's a little underwhelming to get melee energy back when there's so many ways to just get it back already. So that's already two things that this exotic does that I just don't really care about. And there's other exotics that do a better job at melee damage for arc. I'm not going to name them all because there's already a video out there from Astrocross that named, he names all the good ones and it's a really good video. You should check it out. But I just think this exotic is kind of useless. So I will show you guys the build that I will have for this. It's not much of a build considering it's just kind of like very basic, but if you guys want to see it, uh, first and foremost, we're going to be using knockout because critically wounding a target or breaking their shield infuse, infuses your melee attacks with arc energy and increases your melee range and, def and damage for a short time. Defeating targets with melee attacks starts health regeneration and attacks and makes you amplified. So this is a no brainer. There's a lot of stuff that you can get from melee, uh, from getting melee kills and you're going to be using your melee with this. So it's just going to be really good to use that. The next one is touch of thunder specifically because juggernaut, I don't feel like is good for pve i think it's a much more pvp focused aspect your flashbang pulse lightning and storm grenades have enhanced functionality flashbang grenade emits an additional blinding flash on bounce pulse grenade creates ionic traces periodically as it damages targets increases in damage over time lightning grenade grants an additional grenade charge and jolts targets hit by the initial blast and Storm Grenade after detonating creates a roaming thundercloud that tracks nearby targets and fire bolts of lightning that falls beneath it. So for me, this was just better all, all around because you could probably just use the pulse grenades for the ionic traces. So that way you guys can get more energy. Because again, like I said, I think 
I think Juggernaut is just not the best for PvE. Uh, unless you want to have a little bit more survivability, then go ha have at it. But for me personally, I just don't see the point. For the fragments, we're looking at Spark of Recharge. While critically wounded, your melee and grenade energy regenerate more quickly. This is a no brainer. You're going to be going down in health a lot because you're going to be in the turmoil. You're going to be near enemies and you're going to be taking a lot of damage. Uh, Spark of Recharge with knockout is going to be really good because once you get that knockout kill you'll have all your melee expended but because you're using the exotic you'll have some energy back and from spark of recharge you're going to get even more melee energy because you're going to be usually critically wounded uh, spark of feedback is another good one taking melee damage briefly increases your outgoing melee damage this one you just have to be aware that you're going to want to get hit with a melee and then use your melee which is kind of annoying but it's better than nothing uh, spark of resistance while surrounded by combatants you are more resistant to incoming damage this is going to help with survivability a lot make sure you're running as high as resilience as you ought, as you can so that way you guys can mitigate the damage even more and that's really it that's the only three that i really care about to be fair i didn't look too hard because i'm not going to use this exotic i just wanted to give you guys a basic rundown of like what you could be using or what would be the best things to use uh, as for grenades, again, I said pulse grenade is going to be the best one for this, especially if you can, if you, uh, pair it with touch of thunder. So that way you guys can get the ionic traces back. Thunderclap is e obviously the melee we're going to be using. And then from there, uh, the jumps and the class abilities up to you. I would usually use thruster just because I like the, the fact that I can dodge as a Titan, but towering bar barricade and even rally barricade are really good if you want to have that more that much more survivability so now that we have that out of the way let's actually look at the fashion portion because i know a lot of people are here for the fashion and this is where it gets interesting because i've made two videos already with the new exotic one of them's already out and the other one is still waiting to be out because i want to have this video out first so the first one is this one from the shader the crucible shader video which i made if you guys haven't seen it I really like that video. That Titan looks menacing and the other classes look good as well. But for me personally, that video was made just for the Titans. So if you want to see something like foreboding, creepy, almost like derelict, then that that's going to be your look for it. Uh, this one's a little bit different. I ended up going with a much more, I guess, thematic. I don't know how to say this one. This is my third look. So if it does look weak compared to the other two just be aware that this is the third look i made for it so this one took a lot of time and like just ex experimentation so hopefully you guys like it for the helmet we're using the uh kabir's uh battle cage or kabar's battle cage mostly because of the hoop or the the ring on the head at the top i think that goes really well with the arms because the arms have a hoop as well the chest piece is also a hoop thing as you guys can see in the back there's actually a hoop so that's kind of like the general theme that i wanted to go with if i can find pieces that have that like a hoop then i'm just gonna go for it uh it's a dumb theme don't get me wrong but it's a theme nonetheless and i wanted to go with it not only that i do like the fact that the chest piece has pipes on the torso i think that's really cool it adds to the electrical look as well for the boots we're using deep explorer greaves just because i really like those greaves especially with the chest piece because the chest piece as you guys can see is taking the off color of vanguard burnished which is a black and the boots also have an off color specifically at the bottom and i think it melds really well i think the fact that i found boots that match the chest piece really well made me really happy and then for the mark we're using the illustrious chromite mark specifically because i don't want a lot of cloth in the front it's mostly in the back and i also do like the fact that the illustrious chromite mark has orange on the tips of the bottom and in the middle of the mark and as you guys can see, we're using Vanguard colors, so it is very appropriate to have orange in this set because Vanguard usually has orange. The, the only thing I didn't want is orange armor pieces, which is why I'm using pure Vanguard burnished steel because that usually only has blue. So, so that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, these videos, I usually just show you one armor set because I want to do more videos with that exotic and showing you multiple of those of those sets within one video would be kind of like a waste because the next video is going to be the exotic the new exotics uh fashion video which is why i had to make a third set <clears throat> i made these kind of 
out of order, which is why <laughs> which is why the shader one is the first one. Then the new exotics one is the second one. And then this one's the third one. Same thing with the Warlock and Titan or Hunter. I made three sets for all of those as well. And, and the Hunter or the, the Warlock actually ended up having two armor sets in that one. I got a little too excited, but that helmet looks really good. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Which one is your favorite exotic in the season? Let me know in the comments below. I will be doing these for the new exotics. I will not be doing these for the new or the old ones unless I have people specifically ask me to make them. Uh, mostly because they're not new they've they've been here for a while at least for a season so we already know what they do but yeah let me know what you guys think if you guys want to follow me again see links are in the description the links are in the description below thank you all for coming to this point i'll see y'all later